Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to look at something interesting that can happen when we find the projection of one vector onto another. So in this case, we're asked to find both the projection of B onto A and A onto B for two non-zero vectors, A being 4, negative 3, 2, and B being 3, 2, negative 3. Now the projection involves the calculation of the dot product and so we always start by calculating the dot product first. So in this case, look what happens when we find b dot a or a dot b, we're going to get zero. And so you might think, that's strange. How can we have a projection that's equal to zero? But it's really not that strange. If you think about it, it is possible if the two vectors are perpendicular or orthogonal right because the projection of one onto the other is going to be a single point in space so to show you what this looks like we're going to go to a 3d graph here so this is on the geogebra 3d calculator online and you can see i have put the two vectors 4 negative 3 2 and 3 2 negative 3 into the xyz coordinate system um, vector u in green is 4, negative 3, 2, and in purple we have 3, 2, negative 3. And when you look at it, it's kind of not clear that they are orthogonal to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, impose a plane that cuts through or is formed by those two vectors in pink here. And I'm just going to rotate it where we can see that plane Actually, let's take the xy plane out. Okay, and so now we just have that plane. So within this plane, you can see that these two vectors form a right angle. They're perpendicular to each other. And in fact, uh, taking the dot product and determining um, whether or not the dot product turns out to be zero is actually the test to see if two vectors are orthogonal. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.